Glenn Parker High Vibration Foundation. Something that I've been noticing over the last couple weeks, but probably over the last mm, five to seven days, is presence. Now, what do I mean? Well, boys and girls, it's presence. <laughs> and I would define that in many ways. And I'm going to add a couple things to that, but it is presence and awareness. I am present in the one moment, and I'm also aware that I'm an immortal being in a timeless reality, and that I'm manifesting infinite amount of parallel realities billions of times a second. It is feeling an internet genetic connection with some of these other channels that are coming through, and particularly Epsilon. Um, the one of the Trinity Oversouls for Bashar's homeworld. The Essasani or Essashani, depending. And I had these uh, the, these bouts of unconditional love coming through more and more and more. And it's during these random times and they're um like maybe I'm watching a movie or something's happening and conditions are in there and uh, something comes up. And while that's happening, um, this last couple times, I'm thinking, you know, why would an unconditional, why would a, a being that is within that vibration choose to leave that vibration and come to play a game? And I answer that in the question is that just, it is to come and play a game and see if it can be done to see if you can be a great master, to see if you can be a master of limitation. And I can see why there was only 144,000 oversouls that were willing to come and play in the earth plane. There's only that many people, those many um, entities that were willing and brave enough to come into such limitation. Uh, you gotta think in all the rest of reality aggregately, this, majority is way over the majority is that you know your connection to spirit and you know um, and have that feeling of unconditional love to all that is you still have that sense of knowing and uh, now that that's been and is regenerating more and more and more into the light body diamond light body it is uh, <laughs> a question that has been posed and like you know I, I, now that I'm feeling this and it's just a, a, a flicker like a light bulb starting to flicker on it's just a gleam, a glimpse, a glimmer of what is really there um, and it, and can come through. And I'm thinking, holy shit. <laughs> you know that that's just so much energy that has potential to come through. Uh, why would you ever want to leave that? And, you know, to be able to have gone through, as Bashar said, is to go through um, and get an idea of creation in the making because you don't know that you're immortal you don't know that you're manifesting and now we've been telling, being told about the law of attraction since was it the late 80s or early 90s from Abraham Hicks and then Bashar started channeling around the same time as in the Palladian um, information was coming through around that time from the family of light and da 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 da, -da, -da. All one collective consciousness decided uh, right around 1988 to be more collectively positive than negative to kind of um, go through that bridge whereas collective consciousness in 2012 was more positive than negative at the end um, that was the when the decision was made to be aggregating uh, more toward the positive to go more toward that direction and so that was permission for all these channels to come through and all these things to be um, starting to be uncovered and uh, the information in the Great Pyramid to start being un uncovered, which was in the early 90s, interestingly enough, like 92, uh, and that they found that uh, door in the Queen's Chamber that had metal hinges on it, and there's all this information that's coming through. And I just wanted to comment that um, have a new sense of uh, there's like a larger consciousness there's more there I think that that would be indicative of integration of uh, being able to be in the presence of another holistic being that I'm having a more holistic um, response and idea as of creation now 
and I've been listening to um, the suggestion for, and I'll, I'll, let me pull it up here for a second. Is it Beethoven? Is it Bach? There's one that Bashar had suggested that um, helps release, damn, I've been watching a lot of stuff, um, healing and letting go. And, okay, so which one is it? So it's, it's Beethoven's, and you can look this up on uh, Facebook. It's Beethoven Symphony Number no. Seven, Second Movement. Uh, ideally, it's the first three minutes. I'd like to listen to the whole thing, but it, because it has golden means in it, um, that the sounds help you release emotionally um, and help to do a bit of integration. And I, don't, I had come across this a while ago, and somebody had you know posted this up. Um, so in a quiet place for three, for at least, the, you know, three minutes, the first three minutes, and, um, it helps, has a particular vibrational state to attract whatever information, healing and situations and people's opportunities that you might require. Hey, I like that. Um, but it's, it's there to do a lot of different things. Also deals with issue, issues of letting go and forgiving the self and letting go of grief and regret. Bingo. That's the one I was going for. And if you go, um, this will allow you to go through things, thereby allowing you to work with your vibration and in this way, forgiving yourself, thereby becoming more whole. Ta -da! And that's what I'm actually feeling. And I've been doing a lot of work, but this particular piece does have a lot of energetics toward that end. So if that's something that you're looking to do and that seems exciting to you, if you go uh, Bashar Healing or B Bashar Beethoven, you know, it'll show up in the search in Google or uh, in YouTube or either. I think that's everything I wanted to share and uh, this idea of integration more and more and more is... Um, more and more interesting because you know I, I, I feel more and more things that now I will forewarn you if you do like the, the Beethoven you know and you still have a lot of issues and you haven't been working on things or you're unwilling to work through them you're going to have a great deal of difficulty because this is bringing up a lot of stuff a lot of shit for me and um I'm willing to face it and work through it and integrate it, but you know, I'm, I'm having bouts of anger and I'm happy and unconditional love and then err. So it is a lot of shifting and, and integration and letting go from people that you know you might have some energetic connections from, which is the whole point of the span and letting go. And we're in the, there's only half of those, less than half of the 2015 of the span left. So there we are, boys and girls. For some reason, I did the holotope experience before this, and I listened to uh, another channeling, and I was, I've been really good, but I'm like Edward Sleepy Pants now for some reason. It's like I could just feel like I need a nap. I think some more integration has gone on, and it's time to have a little siesta uh, in the early afternoon. Thank you very much for joining me. It is Glenn Parker High Vibration Foundation, uh, coaching life, business, and spiritual. If you feel that you might benefit from having a conversation i'm happy to do so there's always a lot going on down below in the description i change that quite often and keep those up to date among all the videos so it doesn't matter how old they are so always check that out and uh, again i thank you for joining in like subscribe and share